so we've got ancient seals. Whoa. That's what we're working over towards. This is something that we we do a map in that area and we can hold back the storm or something. Journey toward it with the caravan, collect enough seal fragments on the way there. Oh, okay, so don't necessarily beeline straight to it. Successfully settle right next to it at the very end of the cycle. If I make it there much sooner, can try to reforge it right away, but the cycle will end as soon as you start your settlement in the sealed forest. So we time it such that by the time... I think I get it. So we have as much time as possible to uh, hang out in the sealed forest where we spend those seals. Got you. I get it. Several types of seals with distinct names and symbols. Each subsequent seal requires more seal fragments and is located further away from Smoldering City. At the beginning of the journey, you only see four seals on the world map, two of the same type as a recently completed one, and two new ones. Once you reforge the gold seal for the first time, gain access to seal contracts, a feature that allows you to freely pick which type of seals will spawn on the world map. Wow, okay. This whole game is like the end game of some sort of like weird RTS game. That's like, how do we how do we keep players busy after the story? Or right, here's the end game content, the Path of Exile Atlas system. You know, it's like the kind of vibe that I get. It's fine. Sorry. A lot of the time people want to like rush through the game anyway to get to the end game content because that becomes like the new meat. Which is a weird thing to me because like why not just why not just make the game fun so like we don't have to rush towards the end game content. Like we can just enjoy the game and just enjoy the journey. I, don't, I never understood that. MMOs are really notoriously bad for doing that. I hate this isn't fucking centered man. It looks like I can still Oh my god, I hope that's in the next update. <laughs> I want to scroll it down. <laughs> uh, get that thing centered, man. Gemmos do it a lot, where they'll have like a way that you can really quickly just pound out the levels to get to max level and get to the end game, and it's like you've just... All of the world and stories and quests and everything is just completely glossed over now by 90 plus percent of the player base, because you just... You rush folks along. Why can't we just have players enjoy the meat of the game? Hmm. I don't know. World against the storm governed by an eternal cycle. Every few decades, a cataclysm known as the Blight Storm recurs and wipes the entire world map clean. The only safe haven is the smoldering city. Gotcha. Calendar at the bottom of the screen. There's a calendar down there? Shit. Uh, slowly fills up with every settlement you complete or abandon. The amount of time passes based on the number of years you spend in the given town. Fucking whoops. <laughs> so that's that's what the timing with the uh, the forest thing because it could be that you're settling next to the place so long that it's like oops cycle loops and uh, or like you finish it and it's like here you go here's you know like not even a day <laughs> in the forest. I think that's what's going on about. All right, no longer be able to establish new settlements. The only thing I can do is complete the cycle by clicking on highlighted button next to the calendar, which I think that's what we had done to wrap up the tutorial. When the world map reshapes itself, settlements are destroyed, biomes are regenerated, modifiers appear in new places. Right, modifiers and world events. Full of things waiting to be discovered. Every point of interest on the map is marked with a question mark. May turn out to be either a modifier or a world event. Modifiers are special objects, change the rules of the game. Which we had done one for Beverton. Settle map uh, title tile adjacent to it. After winning a game near it, the modifier will disappear and reward with additional Citadel resources, or in some cases, a special supply box from the Queen herself. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ooh, reserve points, nice. Bring more stuff. World events, on the other hand, are short, random encounters, offer a certain decision or challenge. To interact with an event, simply click on it when it's in range. Events are represented by an exclamation mark. Oh. 
When I select an event, the dialog box will appear with several options to choose from. Some are as simple as giving up one villager from the caravan for additional resources in each subsequent game. While others require you to win. Yeah. Okay. So... Exclamation marks, not so much. At least on this map. So we will continue working our way across. There is a bandit camp here, though. Traders are afraid and will not visit this area. Neither trading nor trade routes are available. Oh. Well, I would like to, though. I just unlocked how to do trade routes. Ugh. Man. Scarlet Orchard. So what did we do? We did Coral Forest before, which was kind of okay, but man, there was like not a lot of uh, stuff to gather up. <laughs> Didn't listen, what? <laughs> uh, I get that way sometimes. But sometimes, like, I'm so bad at reading that sometimes I'm so focused on the act of reading that I'm not actually interpreting any information that's being given to me. So, like, I've just spent all of my effort just simply reading it, but none of the info stock. <laughs> so I have to watch in editing to be like, what was I supposed to do? <laughs> Uh, how you doing there and I'm welcome. Some cursed royal woodlands. What are the effects? Uh What are the what are the effects? <laughs> ah. Uh yeah, no trade routes. That's fine. I only just learned what a trade out was anyway. And the bio of the forest has reshaped itself. Impossible to recognize the danger of the glades, which are now all of even size. Ew. Okay. And there's also restless spirits there. Okay. Haunted by the lost souls of warriors fallen in the Great Civil War. Storm, storm here is especially dangerous and the forest more hostile than anywhere else. Handsome rewards for the voice were brave enough to settle in this part of the world. Average amount of fertile soil. I mean, do we go for it? Like, <laughs> I guess. Maybe we just go for, like, babby difficulty, though? Because Pioneer, Pioneer was okay once I learned what was going on all and all that. And I think with like the new buildings and unlocks that I've got, it might not be so bad. We can try Pioneer. We can try here, I guess. I'm a bit nervous about Cursed Battlefield because it sounds like we don't know what is forbidden and what is dangerous. Oh, it also tells me the natural resources down there, too. Gotcha. So, hey, we can get clay. Fantastic. And get that mysterious sea marrow. Allegedly copper ore, too. Which copper ore? I think the only use I have for copper ore is making barrels. I think that's it for the moment. Nothing too wild, though, otherwise. I guess we go for it and bring just all the stuff because I can. Taxing severity? Yeah. Bring it on. My balls are ready to ache. At least for a bit. It's a short stream anyway, so let's, like, you know, pound into some content. You want to go home again? You want to sleep? You want my comfy, cozy bed? But first, much too much time at work to wait until we're going back. <laughs> Bring your bed to work. It's fine. <laughs> oh, hey, Tyrano. What's with all the blankets? Fuck off, I'm sleeping. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> so, Gentle Dawn, bleeding trees. Gentle Dawn is only in the drizzle. Every small glade discovered plus 10% of planting speed during drizzle. Applied retroactively. Ooh. In Drizzle, is, uh, this is generally the planting season, I think, so. Every small glade discovered? <laughs> I mean, they're all the same size. Are they small or not, though? <laughs> Shit. 
and red sticky substance oozing from beneath tree bark. Two resin every time woodcutters cut down a tree. What do we do with resin? I'm not sure if we do anything with resin. I guess we sell resin. It's probably what we do. Uh, spirit of all living creatures. Additional stack of this effect. Minus four to global resolve. Per hostility level. E We're gonna want to get houses up. Resin's useful to resolve some glade events. Counts as a luxury thing to have for those. Ah, okay. Cool, cool. Ground's moving and swaying from all the rainwater it's absorbed. Gathering speed decreased by 50%. Great, in, in storm. Also in storm. Oh, only when hostility 2 triggers though. So like, not straight away. I see. In that hostility 2, we also get woodcutters fell trees faster, but have a 100% chance of destroying their yield. What? That sounds awful. That is dog shit. <laughs> okay, well, hopefully by hostility level 2, we've already gotten most of the wood that we need. Otherwise, we just disable the woodcutters, I guess, during the storm. And then at hostility 4, villagers take plus 200% longer breaks to prevent it, fulfill the need for services one times. Okay. All right. In theory, not too bad. I know what to do, but I don't know how to do it. So, but I know what to do at least. So there's that. Um, yeah, let me see what we've got first here. We got plenty of beetles. That's just trees. We got copper ore. Oh, that's clay right away. So stonecutters camp. Stonecutters camp. Small trappers camp? No. The veg grain and roots can be done by the foragers camp though? That's no, that's beetles. Mm. Well let's see. Grain was used mostly for making the flour which is needed for like the pies and all that. Uh, grain I've got to grow though from my fields which I also don't just start with a farm building I think we have to get that at some point roots were turned into I don't remember and vegetables pretty much just food but like uh, could also just go for plantation to get plant fiber and berries. Plant fiber for clothing. Most people like clothing. The herbalist camp. Kind of a nice blend. And then that's just growing. Kind of roots, but mostly herbs. I think we try for plantation. Then there's the cookhouse. However, oh my god, Carpenter, yeah, put it in me. Can make planks, can make tools, can make packs of luxury goods. There's also the Weaver, though, can also kind of make training gear, and that coal, though. The coal turned out to be pretty fucking nice. A little bit of jerky, too, a little bit of just, like, early hua. If we wanted to rush happiness for like before the first storm or something, the kiln is not a bad shout for that. But let us go carpenter because tools we can use to ship stuff back to the queen. Well, went so goddamn quick. Provisioner for the flower barrels, packs of provisions. They can use water. I'm not sure what that is yet. That's the brawling need. Um, we do have five lizards. Lizards like brawling. I think I think cookhouse is probably the play here, though. Skewers, biscuits, pigments—something to eventually work up to. Okay, excellent. So we got some decent options there. Uh, yeah, and the paved road we can do. Nice. It does require base stone, though. 
So first up, uh, we have a beaver. One. One beaver. So we want two, maybe three uh, woodcutters. Because my plan initially was to consider getting... If I had beavers two, otherwise we try three and see how that goes. So there's the three. And I would like... To have... Uh, yeah, big shelter. Need planks for that, though. Big shelter. Oh, that's not that much bigger. That's not that much bigger. That's okay, we can do that. Let's figure out how to make those those planks, though. Zero star planks. Uh, the rain collector for powering rain engines and production buildings. Yeah, we don't we don't have that. Planks, tools, packs of luxury. Okay, yeah, we're definitely gonna queue you up. However, we need a bit of initial plankage going on, so we will temporarily get that up. And then for a bit of beetleage, that was Forager, Trapper. Man, I feel like Foragers could get a tool, man. One star collection. Is that the best we've got? That's the best we've got. Am I doing it? Am I playing the game? Are we winning? Do I at least look like I know what I'm doing? God. We got a lizard there for plus five resolve. Um, what the dwarf do? Fuel burns longer? Eh. Human. Impatience grows slower. Get that going immediately. Think of doing another Minecraft run? Grag Tech is an interesting filled and complex mod pack. Grag Tech. I will try to remember that. I haven't uh, I haven't really thought of doing uh, another Minecraft run. Like technically we still have the um Whatever other one I was playing with, I was just like dying from allergies the whole time, so I wasn't able to really enjoy it, and we switched over to something else in the meantime. Greg Tech New Horizons, GTNH. Okay. Uh, we'll put a lizard on that. Do limit just 10 planks. Limit just 10 cloth, limit just 10 bricks, and pipes we don't, don't care about yet. Rain punk engine. Okay. Could also get the clay going too. The stone cutter camp. I'm not sure if I got the people for it right now though. For the moment, let's get some planks and housing going. Because I want big shelter, yeah. However, suspend these, don't do them right now. It is unnecessary. Get just a lizard on that, don't need the second one for the time being, I think. And then... Cornerstone thing, don't forget, we might have people coming by soon, too. And then we might also have objectives going soon. Plus one to beaver resolve for every 71 produced. Mushroom production increases by plus one every 25 times it's produced. Uh, decline. I'll take some amber. Avoid glades except marked. For all of those. Okay. That's... Ah, that's... 
this this menu is what I had wanted before. Kind of. Because what I would want is like we're getting these things that are used to craft that. Um, we're currently harvesting this many per day or hour or whatever. And we're using that many with a bit of a note for like what you're harvesting is just being picked up off the ground. It's not actually being produced. This is still kind of handy. It's like a more detailed version of this, though. It kind of gives me an idea of, like, what's going on. And I can tell people, quit eating crap, <laughs> which is quite handy as well. Be like, uh, you don't, you don't care about this. They'll eat it only as a last resort, though. I can forbid it, but this will starve them. So if they kind of wait before eating it, that's great. But we had the, like, pie and biscuits I had to give the queen, and 50 was a lot to do. I'm pretty sure people just kept eating it. Okay. Yeah, if you build jerky for meat, forbid meat. Yeah, exactly. I mean, for now, it's kind of whatever. I don't think I have to do that straight away. But as soon as we get uh, anything... And then the recipes thing, just general e. Like production limit, we can set that to just 10 for these here. Just to make sure we get some tools. We'll be needing wood or ideally planks. May as well planks. And copper bars or crystallized dew works as well. Either or. To make tools. Excellent. <laughs> Set it to zero. Do not. Okay. That's handy. I might have had that the whole time before, though. Trade routes. Yeah, I'm curious about trade routes. Once I have a trading post, I can access trade routes that allow me to export goods to other nearby settlements in exchange for the main currency of the realm, Ember. Right. Oh, yeah. Okay. See the goods that the closest neighbors are willing to buy from you called offers. Offers change with each season, depend on the biome a settlement has been built in. Three main parameters keep in mind payment, travel cost, and travel time. After accepting, chosen goods appear in the selected town. Collect the amber you've earned for the resources you've sold when the trade out's travel time expires. And then also increase the standing as we do trades. Neat. The trading post was fairly easy to do. I don't really have uh, any planks right now, though. Wait, do I even have trading posts? I'm not sure if I even have a trading post. It's okay, though. Um, I'll tell you just to, like, chop down this crud. Because why not? Oh, it's not even an option because of the bandit scene. That's right, that's right, that's right. Okay. So, orders. Which, as far as I can tell, if you complete all the orders, you've pretty much sealed victory. Get a plantation. Deliver some berries and plant fiber, or just deliver some wood. For two folks, large berry baskets, berries production, creative vegetables, and two folks. Yeah, no, I'll take the parts and people for simply 35 wood. That's, that's pretty easy. Keep lizard resolve above 10 for 30 seconds. I mean, get a house built, and we can, we can do that, like, oof. 
so damn fast. Otherwise, this whole like build two of each thing, which is kind of a pain in the ass to do, honestly. I mean, that was a bit, that was a bit shit. Extra berries is nice, but need to find fertile soil first, though. Yeah, it should be around. It was like average uh, fertility. I like the idea that you could go into a place being like, yeah, average amount. You could go into a place and it's like, this is high fertility. So it's like, okay, this is going to be my plan. This is the play. Uh, I like that a lot because a lot of the time in the, like uh, RTS games, especially, you get your general, this is how you do it. This is the way it's done. It's the same opening the first three to six minutes of the game for like a 20 minute long match. It's always the same, constantly. But in this, you get the different biomes and all that that change it up, so your plan is a bit different depending on the biomes. While your general plan may always be the same, the way that you approach it is a bit different, presumably. And uh, in some cases, with the modifiers, it's straight up not allowed. Like, I can't do a trading post, so Amber isn't quite so cool. I can still use Amber for some of like the, the Glade events going on, which, since I don't know where any of the dangerous ones are, uh, pretty handy to have early on, which is why I was quite happy to get 10 Amber when I could. But, uh... Yeah, I, 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 I like... I like... I like... About this. <laughs> we'll go for the Lizard Resolve. I think that'd be an easy one to do. Eventually unlock a bonus ability. If you have humans, that it points out the nearest fertile soil from your position. Ooh, that's handy. But yeah, you gotta have humans for that, and there's like five, uh, five blah, right? Five races, or four races? Five races, I think someone said. Look at these packs! God, human result 22, though. What the fuck? You kidding me? We're only at 50? We could probably do that, actually. We could probably do that. Just keep people happy, and we can, like, deliver them. Just keep everybody happy. Just do that. Okay. I will. Because humans are generally a lot happier than lizards are anyway, so. Kinda of fine. I think we get people soon, right? I think? Man. But. Still have three builders, so. Let's bring that down to just two builders. One lizard working on the planks and such. Since we are getting planks, we can activate a shelter. I will also begin roading. Then you mentioned the like different ways that people approach roads in games. I like just organic, just kind of sprawled apart, or whatever. I hate gridlock. I hate it so much. I think it's just the ugliest thing. I kind of. In some cases, most cases actually, I sort of hate symmetry. I like when things look a little bit wobbly, a little bit uneven, a little bit all over the place because it draws my eye across to different areas and I can kind of appreciate what I'm looking at a bit more. Ah, <sighs> uh, there and I'm good luck with the first meeting. Hype. <laughs> Looking for like the sort of is this the timer? It's an next clearance. That's a hostility. We're not sure what that is. Storm coming in three minutes. We don't have the rotten wood modifier yet, so there's no worry there. The roads are built. We should be working on uh Carpenter first? I don't think you're, like, depoing stuff in. But... Carpenter first with these planks, yeah. So then we can make planks significantly more efficiently. So in fact, just to be safe, I'm gonna deactivate that as well. Just do not. I guess I put a human on making even more planks? How many have we got now? 
Zero. Okay, well, like one. Okay, we are we are depoting and stuff. Okay, good. Fantastic. Um, you can pretty much be paused. I, I think. Stop. You're fired. Put him down. <laughs> I think this building can generally be deactivated because we're not doing anything else there. Uh... So I will put a lizard on that. Move a dwarf in. Because they're more efficient. Get a human in as well. Saving a second lizard for food production. Which, you know what? Well, no, we're going to be building stuff in a minute. So we'll leave it. Don't bother with tools. Do not bother with luxury goods. But do do planks. Limit 10. E. Any approach works for roads in this game since people just can run anywhere. <laughs> Some people don't even build them at all. I think there's... The only, like, real way that... Uh, the only real reason to build a road, I would think is to get into a glide faster for deliveries. I think that's kind of it. Because once you go much farther out, you may as well make a different hearth. And then that's just like a new little town there. So hey, we can activate that now. The storm is here. People get a little bit more miserable, but that's okay. It's only a minus four per hostility, which is still quite low. We're understanding things and learning things. And then people should be coming in after the first storm, question mark. I'll also deliver that. Aha! Bat down the queen's uh, impatience a bit. Okay, music. All right. This is... This is kind of whatever. So I have to choose right now. Move it up a bit. Damn music. Spoopy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me a minute. Jeez. I'm kind of leaning a little bit toward the herbalist camp, but I think, uh... I think we wait and see what, like, we can actually harvest and forage. Because <laughs> it could be that we're just simply not going to be getting anything usable. I'll close that off. We're going to breach into this first glade here since the storm is wrapped up now. Hey, we got a house done. Excellent. In the second house, we can possibly, yeah, we can do that as well. Fantastic. They'll like that. To be racist for the lizard folk for a minute. There we go. Newcomers. Good, good. Bit of coal. Mm, would be helpful. Would be helpful. It looks like we're low on fuel, but I just sent a bunch of wood to the queen. So I think we're actually okay with that. I really just want people. And having all types is a pretty neat thing. Yeah. So we can get a beaver over there. Uh, the harvesting we can keep up with. That's a crude workstation, which is kind of paused. You're just doing planks, which... We've got... I'll let you finish up your plank, but then I'm going to probably take you off that in favor of just more wood cutting. Yeah, let's see. Wow. And then two people to build stuff. Because 
because we're limit 10 planks and I got the planks already spent uh, in all the buildings that we would need. So we can just have one beaver just chew away at making additional planks like that. That's all fine. Deliver that. Hooray! That was two more lizards, some meat, and parts. So next up is human resolve. So disable that, let it get off cooldown. We can't quite be racist for humans yet. How did we do porridge? We don't know. Okay. Uh, biscuits was just herbs and flour. Flour we can get from, I think, like a provisioner? Oh God, what is this now? Oh, no, it's just the second one for doing the second objective. Yeah, hold on, though. Man. Cornerstone. Every glade event solved by making a decision marked as empathy lowers hostility by 40. Mm -hmm. Unusual amounts of supplies found in some glades. 40 meat and 40 grain for each completed Dengaris or Forbidden Glade event. Except cloned events spawned by fishman caves and blood flowers. That'd be kind of cool. It's a lot of extra food. That's a lot of extra food, but food I can generally probably handle if we find farms. Uh, keeping the forest happy, though, is a little bit harder. I can sacrifice stuff to the fires, but that's about it. I don't really have any other choice. So let's try climbing the forest. Yeah. Yeah, and that's still that. New orders available. Woo! Deliver 20 grain and keep people happy. For clothing, people, and a basket of pies. Or have at least eight beavers for 30 seconds and keep them happy. To get a cool lumber mill. Wah. Pickled goods for the lizards and parts. Uh, eight beavers is a lot of beavers. I think happy humans is probably the only one that's potentially doable for me. Ten packs of luxury goods, which is, I think, just wine for me at this point. 40 oil, 40 flower oil. I think we'd have to get from the butcher. Flower we can definitely try for, though. Um, yeah, geez, I'm not sure about that. It's a tough one. Neither. How about neither? Hello, Tinky Tink. Good morning to ya. Look, doing all right. Yeah, we'll go for the 10 packs of luxury goods. We'll try it, because the carpenter can allegedly do that. Mm, yeah, TL. Well, Scrolls was fairly okay to do. Oh yeah, we can look into doing that. I think that'll be all right. 10 of it? Limit 10, but disable. Yeah, that's true. I might also find it in crates. Yeah, that's true. That's a good point. Thank you, Ecliptix. Tier 1 sub gifted to Tinky Tank. Oh, gifted sub. That's been a bit. Thank you very much. Congrats, Tinky Tink, on the seven months, and thank you, Ecliptix, for the 86 gifted subs thus far. Peace. Man, you people are, like, really avoiding this glade. Like, you do not want... I don't blame you. But please, let's get that glade. Oh my god, and even before the coffee. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, I got a little bit of coffee, too, actually. What are these? Oh, water reserves. Rain punk. Utilizes unique properties of rain to power advanced machinery. Can harness this by installing rain engines near production buildings and filling them with infused rain water. 
Increased production speed, chance of additional yields, or reduced workload on workers. Gotcha. Okay. That makes sense. I fully understand. Coffee's for heathens? What the fuck? You're lucky Hops isn't here, man. Truthfully, I would just prefer energy drinks and water over coffee, but coffee is all I've got, so I have to enjoy it. I can only stand coffee for, like... Shit. Um, With, like, too much milk. Like, 40% milk. I'm working my way up to, like, 30% milk, but that's often too bitter. So what's this? The ghost of an innkeeper. We worked so hard and put our lives in danger every day. If you don't let your villagers rest, I'll make sure your soul never finds peace. In 45 minutes, you're just gonna kill us probably. Pain and sufferings. Speak through the phantoms of the past, destroys all biscuits, jerky, pickled goods, pie, skewers, and porridge. <laughs> I don't have any of those. It'll also simply vanish. All right. So, wait, I need, I need to give you, I need to both give you crap and also fulfill leisure in 45 minutes so we can enjoy life or else you'll destroy any hope of eating. <laughs> okay. Thanks, ghost. Right. And then here, the totem of denial, a religious structure built by the fishmen interferes with the hearth in the center of the settlement. Heavy clouds gather around the sacrifice totem. Durations increase by 100%, while drizzle and clearing seasons decrease by 50%. And also the queen gets impatient having to clean up after that. We have four minutes delivering, uh, I guess, planks. We can also perform the ritual with luxury stuff. Fishmen hate fire, will do anything in their power to extinguish every last flame in the world. Black's the ability to sacrifice goods in the hearth. Only during the work on event, though. But that gives us the converted totem of denial, which would give us harmony. Oh, global resolve bonus. Counts as four decorations of its type. Ooh. Right, so anyway, we're melting uh, we're melting this down. Bring bring the bring the pyre over. We're we're building the bonfire. We're getting crystallized dew, ancient tablets, and mushrooms, which is actually pretty good. Uh -huh. Do not mind. So, uh, go investigate that. We'll see about this. I guess just, like, just don't... I probably don't have that stuff anyway in 40 minutes because I'm terrible, so... <laughs> and then, uh, 12 tools to send that to the Citadel. But it gives us the reputation, and we get a bunch of stuff. So if she starts getting impatient, we can uh, deliver some stuff to her, and that'll be good. 40 ale. Ooh. Ooh. I could give you a tablet. And the needed for leisure. We just have to get the building for that. I mean, okay, this one I think we break open, but generally... Okay, and we got, we got a need for like a proper trapper's camp, I guess. Is that an option? That's not an option. All right. Well... Then I guess... Totem of the Nile, the 15 fertile soil, the ghost... Large cash. The two small, yeah, two smalls. The three larges. Swamp wheat field small.
Small wheat field? I'm not sure where that is. Swamp wheat field small. Hmm. Uh, well, I think we discovered generally all of that, so... Clear out a little more space, I guess. And okay. Near the tree line that I marked? Ah, I see. Foraging? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> but did we have something for beaver happiness, actually? I coulda. I coulda, but I didn't go that route. Okay. Yeah, all right. I'll take the uh, foragers camp then, I guess. Shrug. Then we can move on and look at other stuff. Hey, the tavern. Fantastic. Or the scribe. Mm, nah, tavern. I want all of it. Can I just have all of it? I'll take all of it. Ugh. So let's work on getting the stone to bust that open so we can get the ale from that. And then we can head into the tavern. And uh, we'll be great. Great and good and fine and set. Meanwhile, a forager camp. We're just straight up wheat that I can't grind yet anyway. There's not a whole lot of reason to do that. Berries and plant fiber. Yeah. What did you... Oh yeah, trappers, right? Yeah, trappers camp. But I need a proper one for the biggins, and we're still working on those up there anyway. So as far as that goes, we got we got insects for jerky. That's a that's a plus. Okay. Let's get the tavern at least queued. Planks, bricks, cloth. Yeah, get that at least queued. That's the other woodcutter. Carpenter. I would need something for the fabric to keep that going. And also the bricks, a stone cutter camp to be getting some clay. Crude workstation, it's got to be for now. If we get a furnace or kiln, that'd be great. But we're starting to need bricks now for building things, so... Let's do that. Crude workstation, we've already got. I need... Not the mine. Uh, uh, uh. Erm, uh, er. E. Stonecutter's camp. That's the guy. I guess. <laughs> Could fulfill the ghost stuff now. Can click on the clay and build the correct camp from there too if you don't want the menu fit. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. Then that's probably the best way to do it so I don't accidentally build the wrong thing. Wait, so why can I... I don't get it. Do I not need both of these? If I hand out 20 drinks with the tavern, I can give him tools, then it's fulfilled. How, how do you figure? I mean, if I can just, like... Because I could also just, like, break this opening and get tablets out when I can just throw a tablet at you, then. Hmm. 
Hmm. I mean, I get. So, what's the request thing then? Like. Yeah, no, I need to do that as well. Yeah, okay. I do need both. So, we're gonna wait on that anyway. So, I can't really do it quite yet. But soon, once this gets built. Which, uh, should be done. I need 20 planks for this. They sort of depot into it automatically. But if we're only building up to 10, this is building up to 10, like, spare planks, right? Yeah, okay, 10 stored. Good. Uh... Can we suspend that for now? Slash maybe also just give me the planks back so you can throw them over there and we finish up the totem. <laughs> I'd like that to be done with immediately, please. Thanks. Then re -queue this, but deactivate it. Don't build that yet. Uh, just like all desert for now. Okay. I at least feel like I have an idea what I'm doing right now. Whereas yesterday when I played one, I was like kind of too tired for it, but two, uh, yeah, I had no idea. It's just like there's so many materials that are around and like I don't I don't know what I need. I don't know what sort of like importance stuff has. But we're getting there. I think this is a much more successful start, at least, than before. And then there's still like uh, a bunch of other stuff that we got to dick around with, like, the different storm events and stuff like that, apparently, and corruption, and god knows what other stuff biomes have. I hostility, yeah, we got hostility one right now, so lizards are pretty sad. So there's that. So that's also an ancient tablet for you. For this. We just have to get the tavern built now. And then ta-da! If I remove one woodcutter, it'll drop back down to zero. Oh, am I like... just over the threshold? Wooden woodcutter or woodcutter camp? I mean, I'm gonna. I can get rid of this either way. We don't have the people for it right now. We'll take out. You there. Yeah, wow, well, we're like right on the threshold. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, and then they're happy again, too. Nice. Thank you for the. Well, good morning to look. British tea with this British weather? What, well, this one? Man. <laughs> I don't think Britain's got it so bad. <laughs> oh. A royal treasure stag, a patron of the spirit world. Once discovered, it flees to a nearby dangerous or forbidden glade. It's said that a special treasure awaits the one who captures it. You're right. Just that, a bunch of fertile soil. Small mushroom, small flax. Nice. And pretty straightforward. Here's the flax. The harvester camp. Small herbalist camp or proper herbalist camp. I guess because I don't have it uh, technically available yet. The game overall is pretty good. I'm, I'm enjoying it. It's got a learning curve to it, though. It's something to really take your time with. 
and uh, come to grips with what's going on and all that, you know. But it's it's good so far. I'm enjoying it. Uh, fabric was kind of being made. I need more plant fiber. Plant fiber, we could farm at a plantation. Man, you're fucking... Can you move, like... Bruh. <laughs> whatever. Just whatever. The tree block in it? I think it's... I'm pretty sure it's the dude. I mean, there is a tree there, but, uh... Yeah, no, nah, it's, it's the dude. Stupid ghost is in the way. It's haunted, haunted farmland now. It's a haunted plantation. If I have reci both recipes set, do they just, like, divide it amongst the fields? They split it up? All right. Um, I'm kind of okay with it. I mean, we get enough beetles, though. Just a food source. Uh, did berries turn to wine? Let's see. Uh, recipes. Consumable? It's a luxury thing, technically. Okay, we can't even really... Can't even see it, really. I think, I think we could do wine with that. Maybe also pies. I think the insects, yeah. Wine and pie, etc. Yeah. I think I'm alright with both. I think. Yeah, I just go plant fiber for now. And just keep it, there's another field up there. It doesn't matter too much. And then build up the farm field across and... Probably get another small warehouse set up. Yeah, ghost. God. <laughs> I see you. Jeez. It's a lot of road. But it gets them home faster. Stretches like this, I think our road is kind of okay. Probably not the dirt road, though. And then we got some crap to clear out here. To make this area a little more usable. So why don't you do that? And the other one... Work our way up to this... Treasure stack hideout. It only goes to Forbidden and Blah, so... I guess just work on that one. Dude, I don't know. Just get up here. Get up here. Hold off on that. Just get through, I guess. It's it's tight. <laughs> get in there as quick as we can. It's going to be dangerous or forbidden. One of those. Because it's where the stag retreats to. We got some newcomers. Two beavers and a couple people, or two people and a beaver. I think I'll take the leather on tools. Are you kidding me? That's fantastic. Bonus beavers. And another beaver into here. Aha. Once these things get built, Bump you up in priority. We can throw some more people into that. For now, four builders is kind of okay. Yo, three grain a minute? 
Her farmer has 75% chance of producing double yields when under the effects of biscuits. Dude, free grain though. What? Are you kidding me? Three grain per minute? That's fantastic. Saves me some trouble. Yeah. <laughs> terrific. Let's go! Need to overclock my workers to chop trees better. Ah, uh, you goobers. Run! Get that tree down. Yeah! A lot going on in this one. All right, high stag. Specific times up treasure stag will disappear into the forest. Minute 28. Capture it for the queen will earn reputation and fame, but the forest will remember this insult. Or moderate increase in rep. Also gain the fear of the spirits which will please people. Uh, just reputation, no fame. We've got a lot of game to go still, so let's like... Let's go for release. It's also the empathetic choice, so like, yeah, we can do that. Vanishes into the mist, leaving you with a gift. As gratitude for empathy. Stag's blessing. Doesn't look good. Forest God has blessed your villagers. This day will be remembered for generations. Plus one to global resolve. Wow, It's not much. But hey. A bit more rep, I guess. At least there's that. Next. <sighs> what do you want? Ghost of a druid. Many voice words disregard nature. Don't make the same mistake. Be a good example to your people. Or else, I'm gonna go away. Oh. Alright. Fifteen harmony decorations? What the fuck? What are you, nuts? That's like a bazillion. But alright. Fifteen harmony decorations. Uh, these are the expensive ones too, I think. Fire shrines, lizard posts. That's all, okay, yeah, yellow ones. Uh, I mean, now would be great for having subdued the Totem of Denial because I think that counted as four harmonies or something. Dude, they're still cleaning up after this totem, by the way. Still, they got to get the mushrooms out of there. Uh, can we get this done next? Is that possible? Two bricks? Are we working on bricks? Is that is that happening? Please say yes. Okay, with the clay, which we're getting from here. Fantastic. Okay, man, we're already like almost out of clay though. What? Gross. All right. Um, yeah, we'll see. Otherwise he just goes away. So it's kind of whatever. We just miss out on the ghost chest, which I've built two of. <laughs> There's copper vein, copper, bit of clay, excellent. The large nest, bleeding tooth moth Uh, ooh. Uh, hey, the sea marrow deposits, fantastic. These are these are great. I like these. These are these are cool. Big fans of that. Another stone cutter camp up here. Yo, I might. Although, honestly, they're like kind of almost done with this one, so maybe we just, maybe just move that one then. I don't think I really need any of this stuff straight away. Maybe the stone to break these open, but... 20 amber in Queen's Grace. Veg parts. Ritz. This might be one to, to give to her when the time is needed. All right, there's also a crypt here. All right. Uh... I could give you three crystallized dew. And, uh... 
Okay. Minus four resolve for every ten amber in our warehouses. I I only have ten, so that's that's not so bad. Increase speed and a bit of resolve. Carry five more items when they're assigned to a glit event. More tablets and 40 scrolls. Dude, I'm thinking fuck the spirits. That's what I think. Amber and wine will be lost. And also an impatience point. It's not that bad. I don't think we can do this one in time. But, uh, boy, we can give it a shot. Say 20? Mm. It's a lot of logs. Uh, yeah, okay, they're just pounding out planks. You're working on... Just the fabric and bricks. Bricks also out of stone, potentially. Uh, bricks we're running low on being able to make. This is done, though. Good. Excellent. Put two people on that. That'll be the plant fiber. Quick depot. That's the fabric. Fabric will one day be clothes. People like clothes. It's a neat thing. I think we've seen everything here. And with you, we'll see. Maybe I go for fabric instead of planks. Depends. Depends if farming happens, I guess. Fuck it, just have planks. Put a couple lizards on it. Tear it down! Get it out of here! I guess uh, another storage area up here would be pretty great because there's like a lot of everything. Back to what we were doing. Clear that out. Ah, nice. It's planting season now. That thumb works out pretty well. You're also just about ready to be built. And so we can try to appease this dude. I'm okay with that. Because look, worst case, you take out the wine and stuff, I don't I don't mind. It's a little bit whatever. There's there are ten planks straight up. Man. Good work. I think we got enough planks for them both. I don't think I need to pause this. I'm out of builders anyway, so... Come on, plankage! Who do we got? What? Who's, who's coming up? Is it you? I think it's this guy. Let's go, Terrence! Yeah! Or maybe this is Felipe. I don't know their names. So that's actively happening. Great. You got some homeless, though? Yeah. Yeah, we should probably take care of the... Um, get another big shelter set up or something. I think I actually wind one of these back. We need more space over here. Not enough, not enough damn room. I need, I need to breathe. I need neighborhoods. And what was your drama? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. You want the harmony decorations, which yeah. Good luck with that. 
So you're ready to move over. Terrific. And you are ready to move over. Fantastic. that work? Does that still work if I fire lizards? Can we get that down to level zero? I forget. Yeah, okay, cool. Now lizards are moderately happy. We got two homeless lizards. All right, Brunhild Stormgrasp. It turns out they do have names. It's wild to me. Fucking Munch Brunch here at the Woodcutters Camp really wants to live there. Yo, what a piece, man! I want lizards to live here. Like, what? Get out of here, humans! Okay, well, it's going to one, I guess, now. It somehow is less... less lizards living there, but they're somehow happier. And yeah, leveling that up, we got the people for it. Yeah, we could do four decorations. Good shout, good shout. It's the bricks that's a problem, man. I think for now, just like throw some barrels around, but uh, a couple barrels. Put a little bench here if you get tuckered out. You know, the day's exhausting. It's a long day. It happens. I get it. Defense to lean up on. Cool. Can assign lizard on the hearth to rise rep. Uh, yeah, specifically for them. I like having the impatience. I don't want to micromanage who's managing their hearth all the time. And also, we're on Pioneer. I'm still learning the game, mostly. It's my second map. Oh yeah, we got the wheat for happy. We just got to keep people happy. We can maybe turn that in soon. couple tablets and cut through some glades. That's very doable. Very doable. Building material packs and 60 needs for religion. It's a lot of stuff. Could Maybe. Rainmill and Tinker are out and Flawless Rainmill is out, so we don't really have an efficient way of putting together building materials, so we're gonna, like, not go with that. <laughs> we're just gonna, just gonna try not. Also, I'm gonna reduce the music volume a little bit, because when that, when that, like, weird Shepherd's Madness part starts, man. It's crazy. Ugh. Let's see if that helps a bit. Yeah, it's doable, but man, that's a lot of it's a lot of wood being dropped into it, though. And then another warehouse would be great up here. Ugh. Just generally, because there's a lot of stuff. <laughs> a lot of stuff. Get you moved. Uh, mm. We can move you over there. Do we want to break into that right now? Yeah, we could break into that. I think I think we're kind of managing decently here. I'm throwing a tablet at you when I can. 
We got that going for the general happiness. Clearing room out for another house. The humans are happy. So there's even more grain. Let's be racist. Above 24 for 30 seconds. Twenty two seconds. Nineteen seconds. Nine seconds. <laughs> One second. Ah. There. Delivered. Ancient sewing technique plus two coats production. Very nice. Also some pie. Delicious. Okay, that was a nice little like knock on effect and I think we still have like wheat profit from from that. So we can stop being racist to you. We can maybe be racist for lizards and uh, get the reputation up then. Hey look, the rain mill. There's also the distillery for the wine. Which, making wine yeah, pottery barrels or water skins. Berries or reed can be used for it as well. Ah. Ah, okay. Uh, clothier would be kind of cool for the clo cloaks. Human house would be kind of neat. Mm, I think I'd go for rain mill for that flower. Because I can't make flour currently. I'd like to, but I can't. And that's also really efficient with it. A bronze bar building? Mm, nah, nothing for that. I'd either go for the clothier or the rain mill. But uh, I think rain mill's probably the ploy. I don't have a way to continuously get wheat. However, that's currently temporary harvest through that. I mean, I'm growing the flax. We're converting it... crappily into fabric. Maybe clothier wouldn't be too bad, actually. I think I'd go for that. What a twist. Under the temple for that religion. Yeah! Alright! Terrific. Gotta need bricks. So bad. You fit there. Yeah, that fits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Neato. Things are happening. Because you wanted religion need, right? Oh no, you wanted the harmony. Something wanted religion. I think that's like... I think we're like past that. That leisure need can't happen because we don't have the ale yet, but we got the building for it. And we're still getting plus three global resolve for having three people staff there, so I think it's still worth having that building, even though we can't quite do ale yet. 40 water skins for every full reputation point obtained through high resolve. Ooh. Neat. Yeah, the ale was a reward or something. There was a plan with, there was like some knock-on effect where I was getting ale and I could roll that into doing something else. Um, it could be the crates that were there had the ale in it, yeah. I'll have to take a look at that. Use the tools to break them open, get the ale, eat the ale, appease the spirit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
Uh, every discovered Forbidden Glade lowers hostility gained from Dangerous and Forbidden Glades by three, and from Small Glades by two. Bonuses added retroactively. That sounds pretty great, actually. That sounds handy, because, like, High Resolve I don't think is a good... Uh, I don't think I've got enough stuff to really be able to do High Resolve very well. It's a lot of water skin, so it's turn into, uh, probably just luxury. Let's pour wine into a water skin. It's so weird. We'll go for that. That, that might help out a bit. Try to keep the hostility down somewhat. So yeah, murder your way through that. I think it was these crates. Yeah, that was it. 40 barrels of ale there. Break them open with stone slash sea marrow. It's a lot of sea marrow. 25 of it? Okay, there's a quite there's quite a bit here though. Okay. That works out. I'll assign a second to that and they're depoing pretty quickly, so I'm not too bothered by it. Still just hanging out for 25 minutes. Hang in there, guy. Just hang in there, and this dude's probably just gonna leave. I think I think I'm okay with accepting that fate. Alright, newcomers, bring on the homeless. Hey, bricks. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I'll take the bricks. <laughs> God, I need bricks. <laughs> I need bricks and really need to sort the homelessness. Big shelter. Yeah. <laughs> okay, come on. Oh, it worked. Okay, excellent. We'll chop down a couple trees so you can actually get out of your house someday. <laughs> Another upset spirit. I mean, it's like every single time. I know there's meant to be more, but jeez. I challenge you, Viceroy. Do you consider yourself worthy of the Queen's glance? Prove it. Time is ticking. I'm gonna get the Queen impatient otherwise and then leave. <laughs> okay. Discover two dangerous or forbidden glades. Dude, that's like all of them. And also, like, a tablet or something. Okay. <laughs> so there is more wheat here. There's more bugs here. Mm, that's it. It's not a... It's not a very great glade. It's kind of poo, actually. So let's move you back down all the way over here. We can help chop through some of that. I think we'll move some of that for now too since I only really wanted a bit more room for housing which we've got go lizards go they're so happy yeah luxury goods uh carpenter could do that but oh yeah it's also do some of that that's sacrificing goods to reduce hostility by a bunch, which would be neat to do. The hearth had leveled up. I don't have neighborhood unlocked yet. We were able to do that, but... I simply have not. So that's... For every 300 seconds spent sacrificing goods, hostility is reduced by minus 20. Added retroactively as well, somehow. I guess if I've already been burning before I had three people staffed. Progresses it faster. Same building effects don't stack though, obviously. Right. Um, yeah, I mean, we can sacrifice like wood and stuff. That's, that's all right. Keep the hostility down. Anything really to prevent that rotted wood garbage. Cause that's dog shit. Do not want that. Right, let's keep doing that. It doesn't help if I sacrifice more. 
does actually, like kind of a lot. Ooh wee. 40 wood per minute though. Ooh, that's a lot of wood. A good spot for a second hearth? Mm, not really. Not really. Why a second hearth? Like, why generally would I be considering a second hearth just to have, like, more town space? Or what? Does the hearth itself do much for me? Lowers hostility and the hearth bonus again. Uh, okay. Okay, gotcha. Um, yeah, not really a great spot, but also at the same time... Oh no, I do have the fire water stuff. Okay. Uh... Yeah, no, we can keep an eye out for the... Hopefully one of these glades is pretty decent. It'd be not terrible having another one up here somewhere. Because there's a lot of potential stuff nearby. What do we got? It's a bakery! Maybe. Or still Dat Provisioner. Or Dat Rain Mill. Oh my god, efficient brickyard. Uh, bricks. Uh, bricks. Mm. Man, now I don't know. Because <sighs> we did find a bit more grain that we could harvest. We still don't have a way to grow it ourselves yet. Efficient scrolls is kind of cool. We don't have a way to really get the leather, so we'd be using plant fiber to take away from the clothing, but if we're doing a limit for the fabric and also the clothing, then it should be fine. We should be able to get enough fabric to keep it going, especially since there's another farm that we can do. Uh, pigment, I think, was pretty easy to do, too, and the scrolls we could do for the religious thing in the temple. Provisioner, though. It's kind of just like a bit of everything. Barrels for luxury someday. That crane for flower. Which... Uh... I guess, like, everything requires so many steps. Do I actually know how to use flower, though? <laughs> so many, so many steps. Uh, I, I'm not sure if I have... Like a proper cook thing. Just like a kind of okay one. It is in the food menu. Yeah, okay, two star. Not one star, two star though at least. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. The provisioner. Ha ha! Provisioner. And cookhouse. Uh, uh, uh. It's like, I know you fit somehow, Dagnabbit. But I think don't do those? No, yeah, you can do those. That's, that's all right. I don't I don't think there's a problem with it. Put a humming in there to make coats. One fabric for oh yeah, right. Twelve. Co we got the big bonus thing for it. Incredible. Let's say uh, I don't know thirty or something. Because yeah, we really don't use that much fabric for the coats. So if we have the limit set for a fabric at the uh, whatever building's doing that, oh God, still this guy. Uh, yeah, that's that's like plenty of fabric for events and stuff. So then the leftover plant fiber that we're farming up, we could also use this field to get more fiber, and also just harvest up fiber too. Hey, you give clay. Ahem. 
Don't mind if I do, but man, our logs are looking sad. Okay, we've we've stopped we've stopped burning logs automatically. I think because we got low. That's handy. I can appreciate that. My whole strat with the uh, three lumber mills didn't really work out. Obs. Just don't have the people for it, mostly. And you know what? Whatever. Just be there then. Fine. God. We can still move these houses too, yeah. It's no problem. But apparently they don't need to walk into their house ever, so screw it. <clears throat> Figure it out. Keep lizards happy. Five packs of provisions. We can do that from the provisioner. That's not too bad. Give us nets for meat production. Eh. Some new lizards and parts. Eh. Or 12 provisions and rebuild or salvage ruins. Yeah, okay. I'm not sure if that's ever happening. I don't even know if I've ever found a ruin. I think one time I found something like that and we like destroyed it, maybe? And then there's food for the queen. <laughs> Forbidden glades in time is going to be so impossible to do that I think we go for food for the queen. Because I don't know where the forbidden glades are in this map. <laughs> Because they're not labeled anymore. <laughs> so that's just open a bunch of glaze and hope for the best. Uh, so we're going to go for food for the queen. At least this is the need. Okay, so I think I maybe just grossly misunderstood the thing. I was always concerned about people eating all the food that we're giving to the queen. But we're not delivering this to the queen. This is just fulfilling the need. So, maybe it's not so bad. Needing fabric and bricks. Yeah, bricks is the problem. But we can make bricks out of stone. But I'm also not getting much stone. I'm getting just a bit of it. Through these. You were right. Yeah, you're likely just leaving. We got hostility, but folks are pretty okay with it. It's a bit whatever. We don't really need to sacrifice. Though, if I did sacrifice Sea Marrow, I'd, I think we'd be okay with doing that. We're not really using it for much else right now. Maybe we're about to. What do we got? Solela. Oh my god, a traitor! What? Excellent. Okay, hold on. Uh, yeah, the crate. Mm. Oh, yeah, with the sea marrow, I can, though. Yeah, we can do that. Excellent. Go for it. So what do we got for you? And what do you got for us, more importantly? Ways of the forest. Lowers hostility by 50 points. Straight up. Nice. Two incense. Hmm. I would I would love bricks. I'd like that a lot. The rest of it, I'm not sure if I really care. But, uh... There's, there's some amber, I guess? Oh my god, yeah, we got a lot of resin. Yeah! I can keep my amber. Mm, man, what else do I want? Jeez, I guess, like, I'll buy some coats buy some planks, like, just make my life easier, I guess? It's 
like six bucks worth of scrolls. Guess I could get some incense too. And uh... One tablet. Right click is the whole stack? Holy shit, what? Oh my god. Why is it not the maximize button? I don't understand this. this weirdest design. You're the literally the only thing in the universe, you know, like UI-wise, that has it like this. Literally the only one. I've done all of them. It's incredible. Cool. So like a ton of scrolls, a ton of incense for the church. That'd be great. Just like burn all that stuff. Lizards will love us. Clothing for everybody else. Excellent bricks to make things with and planks. Fantastic. What a what a deal. And what a steal. I don't know if people really care about education actually. Is that a thing anybody cares about? Oh, okay. Beavers do. Okay. So do you consume education then otherwise? Okay, no, only the beavers consume it. That's extra handy. It's a pretty neat thing. All right. That's a fantastic find. Broccoli. Clay deposits too. Yo! <laughs> oh my god, we need wood. Hold on, did you have any logs? No? Okay. I mean, like, a couple tablets? Ah, jeez. I have, like, a uh, insect then. Right. Fuel isn't that big of a problem anymore right now because you have sea marrow. Burns for, like, 90 seconds. Yeah, it's, that's, that's fair. <laughs> we can burn tools, too. Holy shit. Can we, like, actually not? <laughs> I'm sure that's, like, a last resort type thing. God. Actually, I think consumption control we could actually... Somewhere? Maybe not. Well, there's this. Archaeological tools. 20 pottery every time I discover a new glade. More essence. And hey, even, even more tools. Okay. Ta-da! We need to work on... That should be just happening. Lizards... Fucking damn well better be happy soon. Five packs of provisions. From the Provisioner. Still working on that. Should not be long. Man, what a great little find you were. Yeah, I like this so far. This is, this is nice. Once you, like, learn what's happening, then, like, how and why. Because the start of it is, like... A lot of things are going on. You have zero concept of what's important and what isn't. You're just like, ah. <laughs> uh, it's it's rough to learn, but once you figure it out, yeah, like just uh, it just works and it's good. It's nice. We got a level one hostility during storm and still feeling all right. Look at us go. Yeah, I might, uh... Yeah, I might go for that, actually. It should? No, yeah, okay, this is... This is counting the religion and all that. When the storm's up, we should be able to, uh... Just naturally. I don't think I even have to be racist. Yeah, nah. We good. And that way, humans are also getting it. 
Hey, Miri Meow, how you doing? Welcome. How it goes. Still don't have a proper trapper's camp for the... When you're running low there, there's some more to harvest there. That was the stone cutter's camp, which they're currently cutting away at fossils. That works out. Yeah, everybody's happy. Look at us go. Terrific. Wow. You about done here? Okay, we got that done. So... That... It's gonna be one short. No, no way. We're still hauling stuff, right? No way. Are we one short? We had, like, way excess. You're crazy, spirit tooltip guy. That's crazy. Then how long? Okay, well, we don't have the provisions anyway. So we'll see how that goes. Started watching the Xenolots Let's Play. Ooh, I've been so busy at work, I have quite the backlog of videos. Yay. Hey, all right. Probably got a backlog of stuff to play too then, right? Uh, yeah, the secret ingredient. It's a little bit specific, but quite a neat thing. Wealthy settlements attract wealthy settlers. Newcomers bring 40% more goods with them for every hearth level gained. Um, eh. Well. You know what? Let's try for that. I think I had... Skewers is an option. <laughs> it is possible with the insects. We'd have to get the berries growing... Uh, from probably this field. So let's get that started in one of these damned venues. Sure. And then the farm field. And you can like kind of depot up there, I guess, if you want. Mm. Would you like a path? You can have a path. Fantastic. And, uh... Just somebody on that. Switch beavers in for this. You are fired! And that gives us still a couple people for building slash doing these events. Yeah, they're still working on hauling stuff around. We should be all right for that. No 487 build order for paths this time around. Nah, because you can't build things on paths, man. Oh, rough. And we're going to go for the... Oh wait, no, this is backwards. Shit, that's like opposite of what I want, actually. I thought I'd be getting free pickled goods with skewers. Oh well. You know what, then we go for that. That's fine, I don't care. I don't care. Get lizards cooking. Making skewers with eventually berries. And grubs. Flour we're making with the grain. Don't worry about the barrels and do not worry about well a little bit provisions. Yeah, I need five packs of provisions. So if you could like limit five, that'd be that'd be pretty cool. I guess do that with insects. Yeah. Shrug. And then otherwise flower limit. I guess ten. Since we use eight. And then insects also for pigment. Pigment was used for... I forget what. I don't think I need it right now, though. 
Okay, so one person building. We should have newcomers arriving soon though, I think. Pigment for incense or something? I don't remember. So rare to see all three races happy? Yeah, but like when you have a big purchase like what I, it's all temporary. We're not generating anything for them, but <laughs> they just bought like a bunch of food and education and <laughs> it's it's not happening forever. Do not get used to this. But it's quite handy to get a little bit of a boost going for the... Yo, smokehouse for jerky. Mm. You know what, I think, uh, I think I do. Maybe. I think I do. Insects into jerky. It's a good, it's a good food source that I think humans loved. Nobody loved. Ah, lizards loved it. Okay. A lizard food. All right. We gotta, we gotta move you a little bit more here. Need cards to make certain buildings like in Kingdoms Reborn. That's the game I was thinking of. And no, not really. You just learn how to uh, build stuff randomly. Like somebody's sending you a blueprint for it or something. So in a way, your strategy kind of changes a little bit based on what actual buildings you have available. It's quite nice in that the, the start of your game is going to be different a bit periodically depending because you can't necessarily always do the same intro. Uh, we're gonna take you off so I still have builders. I hope newcomers are showing up soon. One of you off, keep the forest a little bit happy, and you also work for a builder. Am I gonna cut through the wood line to the right? Big walk back to the hearth each time right now. Yeah, that guy? Yeah, I had that queued up for also another house. And we, uh, can probably get back to that. <clears throat> I don't know if this works. Like, just open it up a little bit there, and then we can squeeze in another house there too. Then I guess don't worry about them. Might as well open up like all of that and we can maybe get something of a road through. Uh... Hey, all right. We did a calm down spirit. And then we've got a box with a bunch of coal, a bunch of pickled goods, a bunch of skewers. And a rebellious spirit, one global resolve for every two impatience points. Every time a villager dies, impatience is increased by an additional point too, though. Well, hey, pickled goods and skewers. Um, mm. <laughs> and we're also going to have jerky soon. Man, lizards are going to be wicked happy. Okay, we'll send just one person to investigate that because the depot is right next to the spirits. So that'll take no time at all. Oh, hum. Oh uh, yeah, uh, 
Just berries, not plant fiber. Thankfully, you were only doing berries at that time. Good. And that was one day sendable to the Citadel. Uh, I mean, I guess I could just... I could just go for that. We got the tools for it. The veg would be kind of cool, but... Right, let's send it to the Citadel. Let's just... Get this bashed out. Oh, uh, yeah. Newcomers. Finally. That's a... That's a lot of them. A lot of newcomers. Tools, herbs, and veg. I mean... It works. It's a nice mix of everything. Sure. Terrific. And that's another human that we can put on that farm. That farm's already got the two. Throw on beavers into the wood cotton. Forest is going to be a little bit pissy, but I don't care. Actually, there's no real rush currently. Ah, uh, so close. Uh, you burn like a log. Or just start burning like bugs. And we've also got coal. May as well start burning coal too. There. That that should reduce hostility a bunch. Through this thing. Every 300 seconds spent. It's not actually updating. But give it a minute, maybe. Oh yeah, the Harmony Decorations. Oh, that was field priority. Oh, uh, whoops. <laughs> Wood, coal, bugs. Yeah. Newt. And if I say stop after a storm, Is that going to continue then into the next storm and then... Oh, I mean, we have a storm now anyways. <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Got that path done. Excellent. We're getting tons of thread. I can maybe switch you also to berries instead of plant fiber. Get a second person gathering that thread. I think there was another batch of thread over here, too. Maybe not. Found out berries for pies and such. Well. That's a way to make bricks. It's also the wine, though, at the distillery. Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. We can definitely do wine making. Bricks would be neat, but I kind of sorted that by just buying a bunch of bricks. There, that's... Well, they're out a little more there. And I guess just... Okay, whatever. <laughs> you, you got it! You were your fine. Jeez. I think we're about to win here pretty soon anyway, so it doesn't much matter. It's looking a little bit one-sided. And then tons of berries being planted, yes. Yeah. Excellent. Berries for the skewer god. And then flour from the provisioner is also happening via grain. Which we are harvesting. Just employ 
everybody. Yeah, once you start getting up to like 30 plus people, you start to need them a lot less. Like newcomers much past 40, I don't know if there's a whole lot of reason to have that. Unless we're doing like some huge marathon map where we need like 30 reputation to win or something. Some woodworkers just can't stop working. Three barrels for every 10 planks produced. Didn't I already have calming the forest? I do. Does this stack? <laughs> oh my god, it stacks. <laughs> wow. Excellent. Forrest is a pretty cool chill guy. Unlike this dude. And that one who's just about to leave, but simply vanishes, it's no problem. I just miss out on the chest, but 15 harmony decorations is kind of a lot, dude. So wine barrels and pottery, I guess. Clothier maybe with water skins. Would need meat and oil for it. Or meat or oil and leather. Okay, water skins isn't happening. Uh, yeah, I guess. I guess. Oh, crystallized dew works. And copper or crystallized dew. Yeah, sure. And plant. Yeah, you know what? That works out. And makes 10 barrels. That's fine. You can put wine in barrels. That's a very normal thing to do. I'm okay with that. And then just straight up berries. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Do that uh, forever? Or what? Do you bother limiting wine? Like, how does that work for consumption-wise? Just, like, per population? Maybe? Because, uh, I think that's, like, just... Just the beavers, then. So I'd be wanting at least 10, I guess. Let's try that and see how that goes. Porridge? Yeah. Yeah. And then barrels. Yeah. Limit. Three barrels, enough for the wine. Kind of whatever. Okay, excellent. This is against the storm. Kind of like a real-time strategy sort of town builder thing. I guess you could kind of sort of compare it to something like Frostpunk. Where we've got seasonings, uh, seasons like up phases and down phases. We got people to take care of resources to manage. Uh, where can I find? We got any lizards available who are working kind of miscellaneous jobs? Like you. Um, <laughs> lizards, 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 lizards. <laughs> yeah, shit. Blizzards at the Stonecutter Camp. Aha! There you all are. <laughs> They're hiding. Uh, what, what building were we looking for? This guy. Yeah! Incense with herbs, bugs, resin. Oh yeah, resin. A use for resin. And then sea marrow. So that's pretty efficient incense. Incense, which is being used here. I guess just, like, maintain... Ten... Eleven. <laughs> Two crafts. It's fine. Pottery with the clay. Clay, we're still not getting... There's a little more clay here, though, that we could get... 
Stonecutter's camp. Stonecutter was currently doing that, which is... That's actually almost done. Okay. So we can move it over later. Yeah, I could build a new one, but then I gotta staff it. And... I'm too lazy. We're not really doing anything with the potter anyway. That's more for like a, like a barrel analog for storing the wine, which barrels are easy enough to do, so we'll just ignore that. Uh, yeah, insects and uh, sea marrow for jerky limit. Uh, for lizards, 12, I guess. I'm gonna say 11. Okay. It's just like, uh, craft mostly. The bones of our ancestors into jerky. They didn't die in vain. They simply became food. Cannibalism, ladies and gentlemen. I'm like, kind of afraid to dig out more, but... Sort of need to. Yeah, take a look at the orders and see what we can manage. Does help for brawling. Lizards are getting tough to appease. Guess Clan Hall. And it fits. <laughs> All camps produce plus 100% greater yield. Doesn't affect woodcutters camps, though. Same building effects do not stack. Okay. It says all camps, not all lizard workers in camp, so I think that's just straight up. Just an excellent win. Right, what do we have here? Oh yeah, hey, we got those provisions done. Fantastic. Which means more lizards. Ugh. Okay. Let's deliver that. I'm still waiting on the incense thing to happen. Should be getting there soon-ish. Biscuits and pie. Luxury goods at the carpenter? Okay, hold on. Let me go to the provisioner first. Disable that. We don't care about that anymore. Carpenter? Carpenter. Carpenter. All these buildings look the same to me, man. Carpenter? Carpenter. Carpenter. Do I even have a carpenter? What do you look like? I do have one somewhere. Hold alter control. <gasps> ah! Ah! Yeah! There it is. It's hiding behind the church. Pack up some wine into luxury goods. That that seems fine. I'm all right with this. And I think planks we can limit back down to just ten. So not wine, incense. Yes, incense we were making with the resin and sea marrow. Okay. That should be done eventually. That is queued up to be done eventually. B 
biscuits and pie. I think one or both of those I had bought. Okay, biscuits we're working on with the flour. The flour that I'm not actually getting or just really slowly. Okay, I know we are just slowly. Biscuits is happening. Skewers are happening. Pies are not, though. So, we're not sure on that. So, what else do we got? Just keep on keeping on. More luxury goods. Man, ship so much damn incense. Okay. At least 20 humans. Hmm... How about, how about deliver? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so much fucking incense. <laughs> okay. Uh, hey, Queen's gonna smell real good. Real, real good. We're gonna limit you to like 30, just to emphasize, make a bunch of it. We do have a bit of a food problem happening though. We need... Uh, what do we need? What can we handle here quickly? We're not like still burning stuff, are we? Uh... I mean, mm, broccoli and insects. Broccoli insects, there's some wheat. A little bit more wheat there. Yeah, I guess broccoli. Mmm. Bump that up in priority. We haven't found many mushrooms. Like, kind of. Never mind. I was gonna say, like, kind of ever, but no, it's actually, it's just right there. Mm, up here works out quite well, because there's the... What's it? Like, right next door. So that's also priority one. That'll be bringing us... Nice alternatives, or... Or no, that, that, that's a safe one. We don't want that. Mm, mushrooms can also be used. We can also use jerky for skewers. Vegetables or berries for skewers. Herbs or roots or berries for biscuits. Like, I don't, I don't really care, truthfully. And then insects for the pigment, but that's disabled. Okay. Yeah, the big the big trappers camp would be great. Like, man. Big boy. <sighs> Excellent. They're fully staffed. Newcomers, but give me a second because I don't think I can feed them unless you're coming with a bunch of food, which you're not. So you you wait. And you can relocate but to the clay. Right, um... You're just doing plant fiber stuff, like... Monte. Basically done with it. Here, put a, put a couple lizards on it. 
Give me some humans. For the veg. Probably also that. One order away from winning? Yeah, we're like, we definitely got this. I just, I would like to like not lose people due to starvation or something. <laughs> it's just a matter of uh, making luxury goods with incense or satisfying religion and send literally just incense or just satisfy religion. Basically, let's make some goddamn incense. <laughs> Which, I mean, there's, there's, there's work on it. It is happening. Take you off. Put you on the... I'll just deactivate you? Or just... Yeah, it's only... It's only two gears. Put it to sleep. Crash, smash. Scary. Okay, it doesn't really matter who I put on that. Alright. In that case, then be just lizard. Small trapper's camp. Ready to move, but... No way to pitch you. So, for the moment, you're fired! Work over here. Went to a cool place to work, I promise. Alright, we're profiting with food now. got a similar story. Okay. It's only hostility one, so we don't really have any debuffs going on. Pretty chill. You're sitting and waiting. Fine, I'm just gonna have the one person since barely any flower needs to be done, truly. Yeah, you are making incense. That That is happening. It's just, it feels like it's happening really slowly because, uh... I think, like, all the jerky was just being annihilated or something. I, I kind of want them to focus more on incense, but I still want them to make jerky sometimes, like... <laughs> because if if we do incense, then we've won. What if I do two and one? Does that maybe do it? Because one and zero meant that they always just did the one thing, nothing else. Oh my god, Cornerstone, something for incense? Production yields for all packs of goods. Newcomers bring more stuff? Yeah, alright. Newcomers bring in more stuff, maybe, I guess. I don't think that applied retroactively. Maybe it did, actually. Oh, hum. It's kind of fun when, like, probably on higher difficulties and when corruption and stuff becomes a thing, it'll probably be a bit harder to make happen. But it's pretty nice when you get knock-on effects happening, or, like, breaking open those crates, giving the materials to appease this event, which gives you the materials to appease that event, which gives you the materials to talk to the trader to buy this thing for happiness, and it's just like, you just pound out so much stuff all at once. 
And the queen's like, yeah! Corruptions from using rain engines or some events. Okay. We haven't gotten far enough for that. It seems like rain engines are optional, but probably provide some pretty good benefits. Yeah, okay, there's the delivery. Uh, so close. We can be racist and win. It's okay. That's four new villagers. Amber, the heavy millstone for fire production. Great. Oh, that won't quite do it, will it? Uh, okay, here's an idea, though. It's a wild one. Are you ready for it? We're building housing. That's insane! Then I, I think we can do it. How's the humans and be a bit racist? And there we go, we've won. That is all it takes. Oh yeah, the clan hall. Right, I totally forgot. You're done. So, there's that. Production is massive and housing has happened and people are blue and there we go. Racism to victory. GG! Ah, oh, yeah! 30 food. 9 artifacts. 9 machinery? Ah, rain punk stuff. Okay. So we're getting into rain punk here pretty soon. Done. That went much better than the first one. Royal resupply. I salute you for your achievements, Viceroy. Many who have entered these lines never come back, as is tradition can petition the crown for a resupply. Obsidian box for seal fragments. Controlling supply lines for reserve embarkation points. Wagons heavily sought after and rationed. Vision and embarkation range increased by two until the next settlement. Are the rest of these until the next storm wipes out the map? And it seems that way. Well, this is obviously a one-time thing. But like, four reserve embarkation points. Is that permanent or just the next expedition? Last the entire cycle until you use them. Okay. Uh, let's go caravan wagons, actually. Vision and stuff. Like, we could technically just, like, pa right here now, but we'd probably be finishing it off here. So we'd be entering. We won't have, like, all that much time for it. Right? It wants me to, like, start this towards the end, I guess, of the cycle or something like that. Time left doesn't matter when you enter the sealed forest. Oh, okay. I read it a bit backwards then. Oh, hum. Well. <sighs> Boy, what a, what a route that would be for the trade. What a spot this could be. We're adjacent to two different things. Soil's too acidic. No fertile soil anywhere in this region. And a bizarre cold rises from below and engulfs the sacred flame. Reduces radius of hearths by three fields. That's not that much. Yo! <laughs> but the rewards, though. Alright, well. To the smoldering city. Deeds. What did we do? We did ten orders? Yeah, we did. Trade goods were 200 amber. Nice. We got sad ladies. New citadel upgrades. Harpies, noble and fragile species, yet with a primal aggressive side. They excel at alchemy and love to work with cloth. Alright. For better or worse, a new species to play with. 
unlock the smelter so we can properly get bars and biscuits. Bathhouse for treatment and such. Cooperage. Barrels, coats, tea. Hmm. Economic migration. Newcomers arrive 15% quicker and bring 10% more goods for every level of standing I have with other settlements and trade routes. Hmm. Every 10 completed trade routes, all houses have room for one more person. Excellent. Then... Fiery Wrath, resources I sacrifice burn 5% longer for every impatience. Aesthetic cages. Wall crossing, comfort decoration, more experience. A road sign for aesthetics. And that's it. And then buy upgrades with our biscuits. The new earth level, definitely. And then we'll wait to get probably a higher up one. Okay. Very good. Uh, I'm going to wrap it up here. Shorter stream today because I'm definitely getting sick. And I need to get recording and stuff done because there's not going to be a whole lot going on next week. So short stream today. Probably a short stream tomorrow as well. We'll see how it goes today. And uh, probably just continue on with this though. Like these matches are long enough that I feel like just like one or two is like kind of enough. <laughs> and.